I'm not sure who this message is for, but I promise you this message is about to change your life if you stay until the end of this video. A few minutes ago, I was leaving out the gym. A guy was scanning his car to enter. He started walking. The guy behind the register said, hey, 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 come see, come scan it again. It didn't show up. He said, all right, cool. He walked back, scanned it again. The guy looked at him and said, nothing still showing up. <laughs> and the guy said, well, I mean, I, I've been a member for a few years. You know, I hadn't been here in a week, but still I pay every month, you know. The guy looked at him and say, well, sir, we're actually under new management. And then he looked at him and said, well, you know, so you're still a member, but I just need to get some information for, uh, from you to update our system because it's not the same uh, database. He was like, oh, OK. So he started giving him the information. As I'm walking out the door, you know me. I'm like, man. You know, God is showing me all kind of stuff with this. And I want to share something with you because, see, God encouraged me through it. Right. So I want to be a vessel to give you what God gave me and you take it and do what you want with it. You could throw you could throw it in the trash. You could share it with somebody else. That's on you. But let's get to the point. You under new management through Christ. The Bible says, behold, all things have have come new. In other words, Romans chapter 12, verse two says, do not be conformed to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. How do you renew your mind? You renew your mind by renewing your mind to the mind of Christ, which is studying his word. See, when you read your word, don't just try to say, oh, don't just try to read five chapters just to say you did it. No, take your time. Say, Lord, I ask that you illuminate your word, Lord. Speak to me, Lord. I ask that you teach me your word. Even if you only read two scriptures and stop right there and, and just pray and just marinate on that, I would much rather you take the time to be transformed by one scripture than read seven chapters just, for, just to check off a box and say, man, I'm getting through the whole Bible in two months. Man, I'm getting through the whole Bible. No, you, you, you get in his word to be transformed. Now God has your attention. You're not in a rush because sometimes you can just fly through things trying to read things. Speed reading. Where you going? Where, where you in a rush to? <laughs> Listen, you are under new management. I challenge you. Don't be the person you were yesterday. As a matter of fact, you are under no obligation to be, to be the same person you were five minutes ago. You are under new management. I don't want to do the old things I used to do. I don't want to go to places I used to go. And it's a sad reality. Many people are walking around with their phones, their iPhones, but they hadn't updated it to the latest version. I don't know about you, but when my phone pops up to say, hey, a new update is available, I click install. Whatever I'm doing, it had to wait because I put my phone down and I let that thing load. Why is that? I want the newest emojis. <laughs> I, want, I want the newest everything. And that's how God wants us to be as his children. God want to give you an update. When the last time you made time for him? you make time for everybody else. Somebody send you a text right now and say, hey, can you meet me at the Burger King? Yeah, I'm on the way. All right, cool. You go there and get you a large fry. You know how you do it. Whatever. We make time for everybody. But what about placing a meeting with God for 10 minutes? Just you and him. Even if you don't do nothing but just sit there and close your eyes and just say, Lord, I just thank you for this 10 minutes. God still count that as good. Why is that? You took time out of this busy world and gave him some time. You under new management. So let's make time for God. You know what I'm saying? Let's make time for God. You're not the old you anymore. All them, the, the, the old stuff, throw all that out the way. Don't wait till Monday to change. I challenge you to change right now let me be practical many people say oh man i don't know if i had time to pray tonight man i got five jobs i got six kids i got i got i got seven things to do you know they go on and on and on and on but listen i challenge you i'm talking to you give god two minutes that's it give god two and look you can go don't stop at two minutes now nah, if you don't want to you go as long as you want but i'm saying give god two minutes set a timer on your phone and say i'm just gonna be still and talk to god for two minutes and listen to me you start there every single day you do two minutes and gradually gradually there's gonna be a time when that timer goes off beep 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 beep, beep and you gonna say hold on we about to go longer than this man i was i was in the middle of talking to god now you're moving forward you ain't the old person no more why is that you're growing
you updating. God is developing you. You finally sitting in his presence so he can give you, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? He could give you fresh revelation. The Bible says he'll give you the desires of your heart. Watch this. When you go closer to him, right, he gives you the desires of your heart, meaning you start to want the things that he wants. Many people think, oh, you know, the desire of my heart, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's to go fishing and, 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 and catch a big old fish. <laughs> no, you want God's desires for you. That's why you want to be in his presence. He a place a desire in your heart. You're like, man, I never wanted that. I never wanted to do that. I never wanted to talk to people about God. I never wanted to do this. I never wanted to do. He gives you these desires. Why is that? Because in his presence, you become more like him. But when you keep spending all your time with the world and, and, and all this other stuff, you start to become like that. So listen, you want the new management. And guess who your manager? God. And he loves you. He created you. He gave you your own fingerprint. Man, I'm so thankful I'm under new management. I'm going to do whatever my manager tell me to do. Why is that? He saved me. Hey, yeah, I'm going to heaven. Right? Yeah, that's right. I'm going to heaven. But you know what? I'm not going to wait till I get to heaven to, 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 to praise him, to rejoice, to shout. No, no, no. We're going to bring heaven on earth right here. And God's looking for willing vessels to speak his word to be under his management. Why is that? We recruiting, man. We trying to make heaven crowded. That's what it's all about. Anything else I really ain't got time for. Why is that? Life is so short. Many people think, oh man, life, listen to me, life is short. You better, you, you better stop playing with your life. You under new management. I love you. If you made it to the end of this video, I need you to comment the words, I'm under new management. I'll see you on the next video.